Question number six, Colin King. Thank you, Order. Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation and asks, how is the government supporting genetics research in the sheep and beef sector? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yesterday I announced funding from MBIE's Biological Industries Research Fund of $15 million over five years in genetics research to improve the profitability of New Zealand's sheep and beef sector. The funding will allow research expansion into beef genetics. It will allow both the beef and sheep industries, pipe down Mr Peters, to further improve genetic gain in the development of new trade to satisfy the increasing trend of farming in hill country environments. Speaker. Supplementary question, Colin King. Supplementary to the Minister. How is the government working with industry to achieve productivity gains? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, a new partnership, Beef and Lamb New Zealand Genetics, will bring together New Zealand's existing sheep and beef genetics research into one strategic programme consolidating Sheep Improvements Limited, the Beef and Lamb New Zealand Central Progeny Test, and OVITA. Total funding for the new project from government and industry sources will be up to $8.8 million per year. The total investment, up to $44 million over five years, is predicted to generate nearly three quarters of a billion dollars over 20 years of additional behind the farm product gate productivity, equating to an extra $5.90 profit per lamb for farms. A uh, supplementary question, Colin King. Why is the government investing more in innovation in the primary sector? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr. Speaker, innovation in all sectors is very important. The opposition will never be quiet long enough to learn about it, but investing in genetics will help improve meat quality, contribute directly to improving on farm profitability, and ensure we're meeting the needs of consumers internationally. As a nation, we are already leading the world in pastoral animal and plant genetics. This partnership will help us maintain and extend this critical position and to continue to build on it through future research and development in sheep and beef genetics. Question number seven, Richard Prosser. 